According to a Defense 24 article on July 29, 2023, during his visit to Glavica, Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki unveiled plans for a substantial investment of over $196 million in the production of crab howitzers. The Ministry of State Assets will be involved in facilitating the transfer of facilities to support the manufacturing of these advanced self-propelled artillery systems. During the press conference held at the Bumerlevdi Mechanical Works plant in Glavica, Prime Minister Morawiecki expressed his support for the project, stating that the additional investment will exceed $196 million for the crab. He emphasized their current utilization on battlefields and the increasing demand for these artillery systems. The production is expected to be strengthened to fulfill both domestic and international orders. The Crab is a 155mm self-propelled howitzer, designed and developed by Huda Stoloa Walla, HSW, in collaboration with BAE Systems and the Polish company Ober. Mounted on a track chassis with the turret of the British AS-90 Braveheart 155mm self-propelled gun, the Crab has a crew of five, with the driver located at the front left side of the hull and four crew members in the turret. The artillery system is equipped with a 155mm 52 caliber gun manufactured by BAE Systems, enabling it to fire all standard 155mm NATO projectiles with a range from 4.7 to 40 km. The CRAP's automated loading system allows for a burst rate of 3 rounds in under 10 seconds, a rapid rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute for 3 minutes, and a sustained rate of 2 rounds per minute. The vehicle can carry up to 40 shells and 48 charges, with 29 rounds in the turret and 11 in the chassis. The investment comes in response to the growing demand for crab howitzers. Recent orders for two Regina fire modules with 48 howitzers from the military, along with an additional 54 crabs ordered by Ukraine, have brought the total number of contracted howitzers to 224, including the 122 previously ordered for the Polish Armed Forces. The CRAB's deployment on the Ukrainian battlefield has garnered user feedback, highlighting its performance and reliability. Prime Minister Morawiecki's announcement represents a significant step forward in bolstering Poland's military capabilities and reinforcing the nation's position in the defense industry.